Melbourne scientists are a step closer to creating the world's first ovarian cancer vaccine. Final stage trials will begin soon on a drug that could drastically reduce the chances of the cancer returning. 45-year-old Melissa Campbell has been fighting ovarian cancer for five years. So it can pop up anywhere in my body and at the moment it's in my chest and my neck and on my diaphragm. Ovarian cancer kills 800 Australian women every year, but doctors are hailing the Australian CVAC vaccine, a major breakthrough that will save lives. It's a world first because we're uh, using the women's own immune system, as it were, to combat the cancer when there are minimal amount of cancer cells remaining after chemotherapy. The CVAC vaccine uses a patient's healthy white cells to boost the immune system and is considered part of the so-called new age fourth generation of cancer treatments. Using the immune system to try and control a cancer is going to be one of the breakthroughs of the 21st century. Researchers are reticent to describe the vaccine as a cure, but for some women who've been involved in clinical trials so far, their cancer appears to have gone into permanent remission. Four years ago, I interviewed Rosalie Martin, who had participated in early trials. The vaccine gave her an additional seven years before she died. This could put patients into a long period of remission where the cancer doesn't come back. For more information on the late-stage trials, log on to our website. Karen O'Sullivan, 7 News.